With low Earth orbit harnessed, it's time to look further afield. To build a spacecraft and rocket system to reach Mars is a mammoth undertaking, but if successful, it will return the United States to the top of the space achievement ladder. The first requirement? A space capsule able to carry six astronauts for a long period of time and return them safely to Earth. Orion is its name, and it has flown once already in a shakedown. The next flight will be an unmanned test mission past the moon, followed by a third manned mission. The components for the vehicle are developed around the country, tested and checked, then passed on for assembly. The minutest bolt and circuit is designed, tested, redesigned and tested again. Slowly the systems come together with the aid of some breakthrough technology, particularly in manufacturing methods, new materials and processes. The first thing to notice is that NASA have gone back to the classic conic shape like Apollo, the safest design yet devised. Avionics, control systems, computer software and a glass cockpit, all state of the art. And the concept was to go with a glass cockpit, and what that means is that the instruments are all images on a computer screen. They are all on the glass, so rather than flipping a physical switch, the crew brings up a computer screen and flips a virtual switch, a little icon of a switch or icon of a valve. And with the exception of seven panels right around the computer screens, which have about 60 switches, that is all of the cockpit of Orion happens on the glass. One big benefit is a weight savings because you don't have to have a physical switch. And having a physical switch, not only is there the weight of the switch, but you also have the weight of the wire to the switch. And you have to have the weight of circuitry that takes that wire and feeds it into the vehicle computers. Because of Orion's size, its all-important heat shield is the largest one ever made, and new processes were required to manufacture it. The Orion heat shield has got to be able to withstand uh, landing loads on the order of 300 to 400,000 pounds. Because we're returning potentially from the moon or beyond, and the flight duration from the time in which you commit to a return to the time you actually land, the weather conditions on Earth can be substantially different or difficult to predict. And so the Orion spacecraft has to be able to land in the ocean in a wide range of sea conditions, wave height, uh, wave slope angle, and horizontal winds. That is what's driven us to a skin stringer architecture that utilizes a thick laminate uh, composite skin bolted to a titanium substructure. We bond on an ablator called the Avcoat. The ablator is the thermal protection part of the, of the heat shield. The very outside of the ablator actually gets hot enough that it decomposes, and that's the ablation part of it as opposed to an insulator like a shuttle tile. Then come the ancillary structures and equipment that will ride with the capsule. The escape tower, designed and tested, will pull the capsule away from the main rocket in the case of an emergency. Adapter separation from the rocket's upper stage. Parachute deployment. The connecting adapter to the EMS. The EMS is the service module attached to the Orion in flight, supplying oxygen, water, power and heating. Built by ESA, it is based on their very successful ATV program, which delivered supplies to the ISS. It will also provide the main engine thrust for deep space maneuvering. We have, uh, in particular, very, very tight schedule in front of us. So everybody's working under a high pressure to meet the dates. And this requires a very, very close collaboration. I see a very motivated team. And uh, so far, as an agency, we are quite happy with the performance of the European industry.
The US Navy is tasked with retrieving the capsule from the ocean. At first they train in the pool, then calm waters, then the Pacific, and finally the real thing. Experts continue to evolve the process and training in readiness for the day when a manned flight returns from deep space. Thank you.